So it's pretty much the spooky season now and today I'm going to tell you some really unusual stories from over the years. I can definitely tell you that there hasn't been any insane experiences. I've just had some little unusual things occur from time to time. Let's begin. When I was about 10, I walked into my toilet room in our house, locked the door and proceeded to do some very important business. Then suddenly, my attention was drawn to the toilet door. There was a hole in the doorknob and I looked through it and saw this. Okay, that didn't happen, but the doorknob is still very important in this story. I was sitting there in silence and out of nowhere, the doorknob starts to move violently. It was like someone was trying to get in. And this lasted for a while. It definitely caught me off guard and not gonna lie, it made me jump a little. But me being me, my mind instantly went to the thought of this was one of my brothers being impatient or trying to annoy me or just trying to play a prank on me. So I screamed out something like, What? The doorknob is still shaking. What? Then, in the distance I heard, What the hell are you screaming about? The doorknob movements come to an abrupt stop. I busted that door open and I was ready to solve this case. So my goal was to suss out every little bit of information I could to find out who was the one moving the doorknob. I walked into one of my brother's rooms and demanded answers. This one was the one that screamed out to me. I was a bit skeptical at first because he would always play tricks on me around this age. So I just thought it was another one of those. But then he insisted that it wasn't him this time. He told me that it could have been my other brother or my mum or just some wind. The case wasn't closed yet. I walked into my other brother's room and saw that he was playing the Xbox 360 online. He gave me the look of, what do you want, I'm busy. I told him anyway and he said it wasn't him. So there goes that idea. <laughs> and it turns out that my mum was on the other side of the house on the computer, so it wasn't her either. The more I investigated into this, the more I freaked myself out. The only other explanation was that it could have been the wind, but this day there was no gust going through the house at all. Yeah, yikes. Also, I've been in the toilet where it's been extremely windy throughout the house and the doorknob did not move as much as that time. And did I ever find out the answer to what actually happened? Nah. About a year ago, our family was given the job to dog sit these two dogs while their family was away on holidays for a few weeks. Quick side note, they were chihuahuas and really cute. <laughs> it was beginning to get pretty late in the night so my mom and I set up their beds and we were going to bed ourselves after. We turned off the light and slid the hallway door closed and began to walk to our rooms to go to sleep. As you do. But something just had to stop us in our tracks. About three steps down the hallway, one of the dogs let out a couple of barks, then literally a second later, the power goes out. Hey guys, anyone? Oh, I think I just found some matches. Mom, where are you? <coughs> We're actually quite used to power outages as they happen a few times every year, but this time was different. The fact that one of the dogs barked just before the power disappeared left the idea in our heads that, hey, maybe there's a person outside. So we kind of just stood there in the kitchen in complete darkness, holding two chihuahuas and trying to listen out to anything outside that sounds suspicious. I didn't go to sleep for a while because I was still pretty paranoid. I have a pretty bad habit of overthinking, so I literally just laid there in bed thinking of all the possible outcomes. If someone did break into the house, what would we do? Where would we escape? Where would we hide? Would these savage little chihuahuas protect us? So many possibilities! I remember texting a few of my friends being like, Help, I'm paranoid and there could be someone outside! Which they all thought I was being ridiculous. And yeah, I get that I probably was. But I woke up the next morning with power back on and yeah. Still a little bit weird I think.
Okay, so this one was from a pretty young age as well. I remember I made this whole house set up for some of my toys I had. I had an area for the bathroom, the food, the toilets, anything you can think of, there was a room for it. Even a tiny little room with an Xbox in it. These toys were living the good life. Except these guys. I made this little area where these two characters lived in a little wagon and never moved from there. For some reason, no one liked them and they just stayed in the wagon all day. That's a nice little backstory. But legit, I made them really lazy and they would never get up to do stuff. That sounds like someone I know. Hmm. Anyway, the next day I went to play with these toys and I noticed something a little strange. These two characters were not in the wagon. Somehow these toys moved into the middle of the playset and all the food from the eating area was placed in the wagon. I was so confused and kind of shook. Cringe. All of my other toys were in the same place, except for these two. I knew for a fact that I didn't move them, and I was thinking, why would my family do this? They don't even know what's happening in the storyline. I also had that thought of, oh my god, what if these toys are alive like in Toy Story? Is this proof? Oh my god, why does she just leave us in this wagon? I am so hungry. No one feeds us. I know. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's like 3 a.m. I think we deserve a feast. She is totally not going to get up. Great! Okay, so I'll just get the chips, I'll get the cookies, I'll get the veggie while I get that toast, spread it on that toast, and it's gonna be so good. I'm going to get the water! <laughs> what is going on? I ended up abandoning this scene for about a week until my mum told me to pack it all up and I was still a little bit, ugh, okay. I'll just quickly chuck them all in the container and pretend nothing happened. I pretended like nothing happened, but deep down, I was still a little freaked out. I still have no idea with what actually happened, but there's definitely a lot more possibilities of what could have happened. And if it was someone, why did you move my toys? I'm so confused. <laughs> This next one has happened a few times, but the time I vividly remember the most is this one night before bed. I was in my room doing schoolwork and my mum was still out in the living room watching TV. She comes into my room and says goodnight, blah blah blah, and 20 minutes later, I thought, hey, I should probably get some sleep too. I get up to go and brush my teeth and as I was walking to the bathroom, I saw this light seeping through underneath the door. So I slid the door open and found this. Mom? Are you out here? Ew. So the TV decided to randomly turn back on. So I flicked it off and went to my mom's room. Hey mom, you turned off the TV out there, right? Yeah. Oh, well, it just turned back on. Do 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 do. Not kidding. My mom did that music as a response. Apparently that is spooky music. Hmm, okay. There was this room in my grandparents' house that was off to the side of their garage and it was dedicated to their business that they had going for a while. This place was filled with hats. Mainly, yeehaw hats. There was also a lot of other strange hats and I tried all of them on. I loved it. Anyway, all the hats were stored in cardboard boxes and there were several lanes filled with them since there were so many and they were filled up to the roof. So my brother and I played this game. It was a hide and seek game, but in the lanes. One person had to try and listen and look through the cracks between the boxes to find the other person. I remember this time where I could hear my brother walking at a fast pace in the lane behind me. So I accused him of cheating as you were only meant to stay in the lane that we decided on. He then informs me that he was sitting on the ground this whole time and never moved. <laughs> I may have peed my pants a little that day. 